Praise Lord, let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us. Even now, we have gathered to read your words. Speak to us your scriptures. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and your heavenly understanding and your wisdom, so that we may open our spiritual eyes towards all the truth and all the revelations that you have for us today. Help us to read your words carefully and with whole heart. Be with us and guide us from the beginning until the very end. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now let us read the book of Jeremiah from chapter 3. They say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, said the Lord. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places, and see where thou hast not been lain with. In the ways hast thou sat for them, as the Arabian, in the wilderness, and thou hast polluted the land with their harlotry and with thy wickedness. Therefore the showers have been withheld, and there had been no latter rain. And thou hast a harlot's forehead, thou refusest to be ashamed. Will thou not from this time cry unto me, My father, thou art the guide of my youth? Will he reserve his anger forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldst. The Lord said also unto me, In the days of Josiah, the king, has thou seen that which backsliding Israel had done? She is gone up upon every high mountain, and under every green tree, and there had played the harlot. And I said, After she had done all these things, turn thou unto me, but she returned not. And her trecarious sister, Judah, saw it. And I saw, when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her trecarious sister Judah feared not, but went and prayed the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her harlotry that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with trees. And yet for all this her trecarious sister Judah hath not turned unto me with her whole heart, but faintly said the Lord. And the Lord said unto me, the backsliding Israel had justified herself more than Trecarus Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, the backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine in iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord, thy guard, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you shepherds according to mine heart, who shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall come to pass, when ye are multiplied and increased in the land, in those days, said the Lord, they shall say no more, the ark of the covenant of the Lord, Neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they miss it, neither shall that be done by any more. At that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it. To the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for thy inheritance unto your fathers. But I said, How shall I put thee among the children, and give thee a pleasant land, a beautiful heritage of the hosts of nations? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father, and shall not turn away from me. Surely, as a wife precariously departed from her husband, so have ye dealt precariously with me. O house of Israel, said the Lord. A voice was heard upon the sigh places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel. For they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, your backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. Truly in vain is salvation, hope for them the hills, and from the multitude of mountains, truly in the Lord. Our God is the salvation of Israel. For shame had devoured the labor of our fathers from your youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our confusion covereth us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God. 
we and our fathers from our youth even unto this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Amen. Now let us read the book of Isaiah from chapter 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth justice to the nations. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A brewer's reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth justice in truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set justice in the earth, and the coast shall wait for his law. Thus said God, the Lord, he who created the heavens and stretched them out, he who spread for the earth and that which cometh out of it, he who giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk in it. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the nations, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and those who sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to carved images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is in it, the coast and their inhabitants. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar dot inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yeah, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. I have for a long time held my peace. I have been still and restrained myself. Now will I cry like a traveling woman, I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills, and dry up all their herbs, and I will make the rivers coastlands, and I will dry up the pools, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not, I will lead them in paths that they have not known, I will make darkness light before them, and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, and not forsake them. They shall be turned back, they shall be greatly ashamed, that trust in carved images, that say to the melted images, Ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf, and look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messengers that I send? Who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant? Seeing many things, but thou observest not, opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. Who among you will give your to this? Who will hearken and hear for this time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil, and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord he against whom he have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto this law. Therefore he had poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and it had set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Amen. Now let us read the first epistle to the Thessalonians from chapter 3. Wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone, and sent Timothy, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow worker in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man should be moved by these afflictions, for ye yourself know that we are appointed to these things. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the temper have tempted you, and are labor be in vain. But now, when Timothy came from you unto us, and brought us good tidings of your faith and love, and that ye have good remembrance of us all always, desiring greatly to see us as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by your faith. For now we live, and ye stand fast in the Lord. For what 
thanks can be rendered to god again for you for all the joy with which we joy for your sakes before our god night and day praying exceedingly that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith now god himself and our father and our lord jesus christ direct our way unto you and the lord may you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men even as we do toward you to the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before god even our father at the coming of our lord jesus christ with all his saints amen let us pray heavenly father we thank you for all the words that you have spoken to us today to your scriptures Thank you for revealing all the truths and all the revelations to us through your verses and thank you for helping us to read your words carefully and help us to engrave all these words that we have read in our hearts forever help us to spread your gospel and your love to all the people that we know so that we may take them with us when you come again to take us up to heaven be with us and guide us every day in the name of Jesus I ask amen god bless you